Welcome to the first of many video lessons that will help you learn the software known as Animator. Animator is a 3D animation program that allows you to design straightforward 3D objects and animations. You interactively create and edit objects, figures, and scenes directly on your computer screen. The basic interface is similar to most 3D animation and CAD programs, as you can see from the screen below. In Animator, you control various aspects of your work using an ordinary computer, mouse, or tablet. You select, drag, rotate, scale, and place objects by clicking the various views of your work. There are two toolbars that can be used for common tasks. The one at the top of the screen is for general commands that are used throughout Animator, while the one on the left allows you to change depending on the mode of your operation. As you click, you have different tools to use. Now this is the same through each mode. If you, if you switch modes like to figure or sequence, again, you have different options. You can also control the view of your objects. Front, back, left, right, or any, any, any view you basically want. There are four main working modes and an object browsing mode. First, there is an object editor, which is used mostly to build static objects. This is what we're in right now. Second, there is a figure or character editing mode. You use it to define the structure of the character you want to animate by connecting joints and bones together. Third, there is a movement or sequence editor. Here you can define segments of motion as one cycle of walk, or you can also link cycles together to make longer sequences. Fourth, you put together your final scenes in a scene editor. Here you place the objects in Fourth, you put together your final scenes in a scene editor. Here you will place the objects that you've built in other parts of Animator into the final world or project. Here you can control how they move and where the camera is located. Once you've created your final project, you can export it as JPEGs, bitmaps, AVIs, or as the full project itself. Finally, there's the object browser. This allows you to view and organize your animator objects. Alright, there's your modes.